Both sides in a case against Timothy Russman rested today, and a jury decided the fate of the man accused of taking and burying the body of Kyle Free in a remote area of Mesa County. Russman faced seven different charges, including accessory to the crime of murder, tampering with physical evidence, and abuse of a corpse. Our Ivan Fisher was in the courtroom just before 9.30 p.m. tonight when the verdict was announced. He says the room was filled with families from both sides, and both families and the defendant were in tears after the verdict was read. At the Mesa County Justice Center today, before the verdict, the prosecution started off by detailing a world filled with what they called drugs, drunkenness, conspiracy, and murder. Going on to address the defense's theory in this case, focusing on the idea that Timothy Russman only took and buried Kyle Free's body because he feared for himself and his family's lives. There's no such evidence in this case to support the idea of a threat from John Eddy or David Castro beyond Russman's own testimony about a conversation he had with Rebecca Walker. Walker denies this threat, and the prosecution uses the idea that Rebecca Walker turned on everyone, testified in multiple trials, and has never claimed to have received threats from John Eddy or David Castro. The defense argues Russman gave up the info because the people who could have harmed him were caught and to give Kyle Free's family closure. Go to westernslopenow.com for more.